with another take on a steak sandwich. It's a summer day and we wanted something. We had steaks out and I decided to have Tim pick up two ribeyes, uh, USDA, trim off all the fat. We're going to slice it into tiny little strips, really thin. I'm going to season them, put them in a baggie with uh, a meat tenderizer. Um, A1 sauce, everything, all the goodness we like with the thin sliced onions. And I'm going to let that marinate. When it's done, I'm throwing them on the grill. And I'm going to show you what they look like once I throw them on the grill. And in the meantime, let me show you what else you need. So, ribeyes, French bread. We're going to cut these in half, hollow out the bottom half for the meat, and use this for our fresh hoagie sandwiches or for our steak subs okay and just all any seasoning that you want for your steaks but you're going to chop them into thin strips we cut it in half oh it's so nice and tender look at that all gooey and then i just cut out a well i pulled out a chunk so i could eat it yum so my meat's got a nestle inside with the onions and then i'm going to Put all the mayonnaise, mustard, whatever you want on yours, and tomatoes. So that's how we did the grill. Let me show you how I did. We did the meat and the onions. Look at that. Ribeye has been cut into strips, as you can see, really thin. I pounded it too to break up any of the muscle. Because when you're making a sandwich, and I put our seasonings that we wanted. I put some onion seasoning in there, not onion powder, but actual minced onion. And then Tim wanted honey garlic. So honey and garlic. Gonna have the onions cook in with the steaks on the grill. So it's about medium. You don't want to overcook your steak on the grill or for a sandwich and make a medium well because it'll be chewy. So you definitely want to keep it about medium to a very light medium well, but not a full medium well. For those of you that are grillers or meat cookers, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Where there's pink still in your meat. So, I know some would take this off right now, but no. All right. I'm going to let this cook, and when it's done, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay. Look at that. It's all nice and done, and I got a bowl that I'm going to drain it from its natural juices. And then we'll show you what it looks like when we have it on the bread. All right, there you go. Mayonnaise, mustard, cheese, all nest, steak nestled in. And then I'm going to put my cheese. And then I'm going to melt it just a little in the toaster oven. There you go. Cut it in half. Look at that. Cheese is all melted. Nice and soft. And this is another version of a cheesesteak. Homemade.